This is Mike. Mike has a routine, a daily ritual. He also has a family that he loves. They live in a house in a quiet neighborhood at the edge of town. Every morning before he heads off to work, Mike says goodbye to his family, knowing that he'll see them again that evening. Mike has a good job. It pays the bills and helps provide for his family. During most days at work, Mike has to make a lot of decisions. Most of them are simple choices with minor consequences if he makes a mistake. But some of those decisions could be life-changing if he doesn't make the right choice. Today, he has a choice to make at the Baylor. It's clogged again. He thinks, should I just climb up and quickly unjam those boxes? Or should I call my supervisor to come lock out this machine? He makes the right choice and decides to get it locked out. It might save him a few minutes if he did it himself, but it's not worth the risk. He has his family to think of. Mike ends his day just like every other and drives home to his waiting family. They're completely unaware of the future that could have been. But what if he had made the other choice? He thinks, it's not a big deal. I unjammed it a couple of times before and nothing ever went wrong. I could waste 15 minutes waiting for someone to come and lock it out. What can really happen? What he doesn't know is that this kind of thinking has caused many injuries and deaths. And what his wife doesn't know is that she's about to get the worst phone call of her life. And Mike will never be coming home again. Every year, more than 50,000 people are injured in the U.S. and Canada when not using lockout tagout. Over 100 workers will die as a result of their injuries. Lockout tagout is not a choice. <laughs>